Chronic skin conditions including eczema, atopic dermatitis, acne and psoriasis affect millions of people every day. The number of atopic dermatitis cases in developed countries has tripled over the last 30 years. One thing that has been harnessed to help those affected by chronic skin conditions is ultraviolet light. This is called, phototherapy. UV light is comprised of three components, UVA, UVB and UVC light. UVC light is intercepted by the ozone layer and does not reach our skin on Earth. When UVB hits the outer layer of our skin, the epidermis, it damages skin cells. The human body has a natural sunscreen called melanin. However, excessive exposure to UVB light can be too much for melanin, leading the pigment to darken causing tanning or burn, in the process. UVA light penetrates deeper into the skin, in what is called the dermis. When you hear UVA, think aging. When you hear UVB, think burning. Did you know, you can't feel UVB light hit your skin? It is actually UVA light that gives the feeling of warmth. Now, how does all this relate to eczema, acne or contact dermatitis? Well, for those afflicted by chronic skin conditions, aspects of UV light have beneficial properties. This is because, on their skin, there is a prevalence of T-cells and other white blood cells. These cells are vital in helping us ward off harmful bacteria and viruses day and night. Think of them as the human body's very own navy and military. T-cells are responsible for recognizing a bacteria or pathogen and white blood cells are sent to destroy them. However, for those with skin conditions, certain foods, chemicals and materials can trigger an immune response inside the person's skin. What we see on the surface is the result of that immune response, dry, inflamed or flaky skin. Since 1970, patients have used phototherapy as a treatment for chronic skin conditions like eczema and acne. While it is not an outright cure, researchers have found promising results from the therapy. Using UVB and or UVA light tubes, a machine can artificially emit the same form of light as natural sunlight. You may see a mix of UVA and UVB used in some sunbeds for example. Doctors, however, are likely to use broadband UVB in a standard phototherapy session. This is because UVB light induces atopic cell death in activated T cells when it hits our skin, suppressing the immune system in the process. In some cases itchiness, inflammation and irritability caused by the hyperactive T cells and white blood cells can fade as a result. Then immune cells can go back to what they do best and the person may feel more optimistic about their condition if the treatment has worked. Note, excessive exposure to UVB and UVA light can lead to skin cancer, so please consult your primary care physician before repeating any acts or treatment described in this video. This video is purely educational and is not medical advice. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.